Hey everyone, this is David. No, 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 no. We are just doing a quick hit. I'm actually about to record with Sarah Fraser a whole show for tomorrow, actually. Want to hear some Vanderpump recap? I got a lot to say about Vanderpump last night, but I am here to talk. Yesterday, did you love our quick hit show? I talked about Caroline and Brandy's lawsuit or I should say Caroline's lawsuit against Bravo and NBC and all the other production companies. Check out our quick hit from yesterday. Today, did you love our chat this morning with Miss Daphne Zuniga, Zuniga from Melrose Place? Of course, we talk about Garcelle Bouvet. Don't forget Models Inc. was spun off of um, Melrose Place, and we talked about her working with a Miss Lisa Rinna. But I am just jumping on quickly today, and really, it is an absolute crazy day. But um, Kyle and Morgan Wade, I am so fucking sick of these two. I'm sick of it. So now we have people deleting each other's photos, okay? Um, this is crazy. Um, so just telling Sarah Fraser to hold her ass on a second because we have to talk about this. She's like ready to go record. Well, I'm not ready. I'm jumping on here today with you guys. So Morgan Wade has started by deleting all her pictures that she had posted with Kyle Richards, except pictures promoting her music career. Kyle has now deleted pictures of Morgan Wade. Now, first of all, I, I you know, listen, I just got through saying last week with Sarah that I don't think these two were dating and I don't think anything was going on. And sure, I just think whatever, whatever. Um, you know, I really came to the conclusion that when you lose a friend, when someone, you know, and it's through suicide and you're speaking to this person every single day and you're so close to them and then something like this happens, it is such a mind fuck of like, but I speak to you every day. Like, you couldn't have told me that. Like, you could have reached out. So I was just like, man, I really must just be going through a lot. Yeah, call it a midlife crisis. Call it a third quarter life crisis. I think at 55, I would call it a third quarter life crisis. I don't think people, most people don't live to 110. But now I'm just like, I just don't know. Okay, I just don't know anymore now. So... Morgan deletes all the pictures of Kyle, okay? Except promoted the music career. Kyle is now, because there's a lot of reports out there that say Kyle didn't delete these. Yes, she did. Kyle has now deleted these pictures as well. So here we are. And um, what does this mean? If they have a falling out, look, they didn't have a falling out because they were friends. They're together every minute. If they're having like a lover's falling out, I actually am so here. I, I don't really care if they're friends and now they had a fight like Camille on follows LVP. I don't really care if they're lovers and they broke up. Brittany and Justin broke up. Now they're back in the news. What I do care about is if this is more fucking queer baiting and Morgan is going out on tour now with Joan Jett and Alanis Morissette and is trying to, to sell tickets and the storyline that Kyle thought was going to be her big storyline didn't land as well this season and we have enough of the season left and now we're just trying to create even more fucking attention. I actually have a real problem with this. I am so sick of these two. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to rant. I'm just sick of it. So if it's an authentic thing where there's some trouble in paradise amongst lovers or some trouble in paradise amongst friends, fine. Delete the damn pictures. But you still follow each other, okay? You still follow each other. So to me, it's like, what the hell is happening here, okay? What the hell is happening? Is this just another plea to, to save a boring season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Is this a plea to save tickets? Is this a plea of like, this is the best pairing that we ever could have thought of and, 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 and we can get even more attention and press because the paparazzi are tired of following us around. I'm already at Fregs and running back in and forgetting leftovers. If this is authentic and there's some real fight, I'm so here for if this is another, let me manipulate all these people and David's talking about it and every other fucking person's now going to be talking about it. 
We're all going to be wondering what this means, which everyone is already wondering. I'm so fucking over it. And you know what? You guys are over it too. Give me a break. You're over it, right? I mean, come on. So we don't know what's going on. This is a developing story, but Morgan deletes all the pictures. Kyle deletes all the pictures. Yeah, there are a few up there by Morgan promoting her music career. I'm just over this. I'm really over this. If it's not an authentic friendship breakup or 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 a breakup of lovers, if this is some thing to manipulate us and now we're all talking about it, it's just enough. You're not that interesting. Who the fuck cares? Let's move on to other things. I am going to talk tomorrow um, a little bit about, well, I'm going to talk about a lot of things, but let's do a recap of Vanderpump with Sarah tomorrow or later this week. I watched it. I've got a lot to say. You know, Morgan also hates the paparazzi. So is this just her being like, I mean, I'm going to delete the pictures of Kyle now because I'm so over this whole thing with the paparazzi. Well, girl, where have you been? It's been like a year, basically. Sure feels like a year. By the way, does January, today's January 30th. Today is the same day, the same month. Uh, New Year's was was a, a month ago. <sighs> is anyone else just fucking tired? January has been really fucking just stressful. Stress out, man. Um, you, can, you, you hate the paps. You're waking up today and today's the day. Well, it happened yesterday that you decide you hate the paps and here we are and you want to delete. Deleting the pictures off Instagram is not going to get the paparazzi to go away. So I don't think that's the answer. Is this to promote the tickets as you head out? I, I don't know. I don't know. Is anyone else really over this? Because I'm really, really, really over it. I no longer care. I am officially declaring anything about Kyle and Morgan. You know how Sarah wants to stop talking about Bethany and I want to stop talking about Kim and Croy? I, I'd like to stop talking about these two, you know? Speaking of Kim and Croy, she is now accusing him of on a body cam video of stealing all of her jewelry. I, 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 I just, I just... <sighs> You guys, I can't. I really can't. And you know what I also, um, you know what also everyone wants me to uh, talk about? Um, everyone wants me to talk about um, the fact that uh, Sutton apparently, um, Sutton apparently fainted at the, um, at the reunion. So we're going to talk about that later this week too. Guys, Oh, and you know what also is, um, you know what I found interesting? Did you see this thing on, I guess we have another two minutes before I jump on with Sarah. Do you know what I find interesting is, um, did you see this thing on Dumois that she says, or he says, or they say, hi Dumois, that Winter House and several housewife franchises um, are not coming back in 2024. Now, Dumois has clarified that to say, I never said canceled. I just said not coming back in 2024. Well, a couple of things here. Do, with all due respect, the longer a show is off the air for a whole year, the less likely it is that it's coming back. So a winter house, I think, off the air for a year, not coming in 2024. We're in January. We're not saying this in December. You mean to tell me we're going to want another installment of Winter House come January of 2025? Assuming this is even true. So RIP Winter House, who the fuck cares? I don't. I find the whole Housewives thing more interesting. Now, Process of elimination, we're not talking about Jersey because that's starting in April. We're not talking about Beverly Hills. It's on now and it has over a million, okay? RHOA, calling RHOA. I mean, we have no, whether we're rebooting it or keeping Sheree and Candy and Kenya, I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it's on life support. I mean, we have nothing. There's no chatter. There's no chatter. We're not close to announcing RHOA and a new cast. So it could be talking about RHOA. Um, I'd like to bring everyone's attention to something that literally having nothing to do with this, do with all due respect. It's something that keeps me up at night that I was thinking of the other night. Where is RHONY? I'm in New York now. 
I'm in my new apartment. That's why it's echoing here. <sighs> I have to decorate the whole thing. I'm going to do a Melissa Gorga on this apartment, and I'm just going to take you through a before and an after. I'll do it once. We're not going to be like Melissa and post pictures for seven years about how fabulous our home is. That's obnoxious. Um, but New York premiered, a lot of you say it's, it was a disaster. I will stand by the fact that it's exactly what the network wanted. We had five, 600,000 people watching. When the salaries are lower, I do think Jenna Lyons got a little more. I think everyone else got 60,000. 60 times six is 360. Add another 40 for Jenna, 400,000 in salaries versus like three point something million from the old Rony. And we made money on those advertisers because the costs were so low and we're fighting over cheese and we're fighting over whether Catch is a good restaurant. So I'm telling you guys, Everyone says it was a failure. In Bravo's eyes, it was a hit. Whether you guys liked it or not, that's a whole other story. I have such mixed feelings about it, but it was a hit. So when something is successful and it's only in the first season and we start Salt Lake three minutes later, Salt Lake is starting right now. Lisa Barlow just premiered a new look um, for her confessionals. It starts on the 5th. But why are we, there was no problems with R-H-O-N-Y. There's no, it's not in Atlanta where we have to recast or fire everyone. It's not an OC from two years ago where we had to figure things out. Where is R-H-O-N-Y? I mean, how many months has this been now? Why is there no chatter? I assume we're bringing everyone back and maybe adding a girl, maybe replacing one person to keep it interesting. Also, where is RHO Dubai? It's already filmed and we keep saying, I've been hearing about RHO Dubai starting forever. What's the holdup? But really, where is RHO and why? That truly has came, come across my mind the other day. Why is that not started filming? I'm here in New York, boots on the ground. You don't hear a lot of chatter about a lot of people being contacted. It's just very strange to me. Does anyone think so? I think if this is true, they're talking about RHO and A, RHOA not coming back in 2024. And I think we're talking about RHONY, as crazy as that is, we just started, but where is RHONY? Am I, does anyone have any information? Am I overreacting? I don't know anything. And I know some of the girls on it. It doesn't seem like anything is happening. But really, my main point before, because I'm getting nasty messages here from Ms. Frazier. Um, we were supposed to start 10 minutes ago, 13 minutes ago. I had to jump out and say this to you guys. I'm over Kyle and Morgan. It's a developing story. Morgan has deleted all the pictures. Kyle has deleted all the pictures. If it's authentic, if there's a breakup of lovers, if it's a breakup of friends, bring it on. If this is to me, I think it's just more queer baiting and more manipulation to try to have all of us talking because now being photographed at Preds and running back in and holding hands and all this other shit is now old because we've already been there. I think this is the new move, the new power play by these two. And I am so over it. So should we put a moratorium and a ban on talking about these two? Kyle's going to come out with some statements. She just did her other interview recently and said, you know, all oh, the, the paparazzi really played this up and really made this into something it wasn't. Well, girl, you know what you're doing. You grew up in the business. You grew up in Beverly Hills. I don't buy that as soon as Porsche's in college. I have nothing against Kyle. I think she's a great housewife. And the other thing is, by the way, and I'll leave you with this, Kyle didn't need a storyline. She's not in jeopardy of being fired. Crystal Kong, you probably need a storyline. And Marie, who I think they're actually going to keep. I know no one likes her. She's doing the job. This is the job she was hired to do. It's, I think she stays. I mean, these are some people that need a storyline. Professor, the Professor Osefo, you too need a storyline. Marlo Hampton, I think the ship has sailed, girl. I think when our HOA came back, there ain't no storyline for you to have because I think you had everything in the kitchen sink last season. There ain't no more storyline for you, girl. But Kyle didn't need a storyline. The job isn't in jeopardy. Dorit, in a season or two, keep it churning, girl. Keep it churning. Keep dressing in that Chanel, girl. But come up with something. But Kyle didn't need this. Like her or hate her. They're not letting her go. It's a fact. So this all was for I don't know what. I'm over it. I'm riled up. I love you all. I love you all. You guys have been asking me to say something about this. I don't know. I'm fine with it. I just hope it's authentic. And I hope it's a real fight. Sorry, girls. I don't want some fake bullshit for media attention. 
I love you all. I have to go listen to my interview with Daphne Zenica. We talk all about Melrose Place and One Tree Hill and Spaceballs and Princess Vespa and Lisa Rinna. And now I'm going to go record some with your best friend, Sarah Farangel, for the show tomorrow. Going to get into Vanderpump and some other stuff, guys. I love you all. I hope you like the quick hits. Bye.